Hi, today's Beaujolais Nouveau Day, third Thursday of November, uh, we're allowed to release the wine for sale. So we've got our stock in, it's ready to go, and I thought I'd give you a quick tasting to see what it tastes like this year. I have to say in the past, Beaujolais has had a bit of a stigma that uh, every year the vintage was good, every year the wine was getting better. But that was all to do with the marketing behind it. It's all about getting the first wine out of Europe to the markets in the UK. So it's always a difficult wine to buy because we're very much reliant on the vintage reports, how the harvest is looking and how the wine will taste. So let's give a go, let's have a taste and see what the wine's like. So let's have a look at the wine. As expected, it's that bright red, ruby sort of colour that I'd expect from a young wine. On the nose, oh, it was very pleasant. It's got this nice strawberry sort of raspberry appeal. Very, very fresh. And again, on the palate, it finishes through quite, quite fresh and light. Um, this one's slightly chilled. It's always great to serve Beaujolais slightly chilled. Serve it with chicken, serve it with pasta dishes. Makes a great versatile wine. Really fresh, really vibrant. Very pleasant. So this is a straight Beaujolais. Now what does that mean? Well, this is sourced from the Gamay fruit across the whole of the Beaujolais Appalachian. When you see the term Beaujolais villages, it means it comes from the designated village area. Uh, that's where you hear the names like Moulin au Bon Fleur, which I mentioned earlier. So yes, I have plenty to sell. Yes, it's very pleasant. And yes, it's worth a go. Have a go with it, drink it young, and just enjoy it.